Hi and hello, welcome to a nerd's place. My name is Daniel and in this quick video I want to give you a short overview over the network capabilities of the Unreal Engine Swarm agent. When you have started your Unreal Engine and want to build your light in your scene, you go to build and in the background, the system starts a swarm agent in your tray. The swarm agent executes the light building process. And you can see on which machine it's running currently and how many threads it's using. In this case, six threads. I cancel this one. The problem with this is that it can last pretty long when you have a complex scene or high resolution light mass materials uh, textures. If you have more hardware in your household, for example other PCs in your network, you can distribute the load of this process to other PCs. I want to show you this in this video. I now switch to another PC. This one here is called Batman and its server is Alfred and when you install the Unreal Engine on this server you will find in the Epic Games folder a folder with the Unreal Engine version a folder engine binaries.net and there you will find a swarm agent and a swarm coordinator. This coordinator is uh, the server part which handles and coordinates all swarm agents in the network. If you start the coordinator you will see this window and all swarm agents which are attached to this coordinator. On this PC Alfred I've got the coordinator installed and a swarm agent installed. And on my Batman PC where my project is running, I've got the swarm agent started. Currently the swarm agent only is um, processing data on this single PC on himself. But we can change this. Let's go to the settings. In these settings First of all, we have to define where the coordinator is found in the network by giving its PC name or the IP address to the system. This means when you want to execute all lighting builds, you have to coordinate yourself with Alfred. Then we have to define in which agent group we are. In this case, we are in the default group and, and this is really important, I forgot this at the start um, when I first used this, is we have to say the following group is responsible for the execution of all light mass processes. And there we have to define the same group like the one we, were, we are in. Then or we can also define which PCs may execute these processes. Normally something like this is typed in here, uh, which means that all PCs which start with the name render will be used to process the light mass. But we could also add only an asterisk so that it is executed on every PC which is in this group. Then we can say avoid local execution. This means that the PC we are currently starting the light mass process on will not be used to execute the light mass process so that we can work on it. But um, currently we don't want this. So I set it to false. And the last uh, setting is enable standalone mode. Currently I'm in standalone mode. This means that only my PC is used for light mass processing. 
we want to change this because we want to execute it in a network and not on this PC. So we go to faults. Now the system knows that we uh, want to execute it on the whole network. Coordinated by our thread in this group default. The same settings have to be made on the other PC. Alfred default star. After this, we can see that there are two PCs in the coordinator with their status. And you can see how many cores are used for local and remote execution. This means when I start on Batman, he will run on Batman with six cores because it's a local process. And on Alfred with four because it is a remote uh, execution. So let's try this out. Go to build, lighting. And now we see that in the swarm agent two PCs appear. And we are not running on six cores, but on ten. Six plus the four of Alfred. The Batman PC is an i7, which has can handle eight threads, and Alfred is a quad to quad, which can handle four threads. When we go to Alfred, We don't see anything in the swarm status. This is a normal behavior, but we can see in the log that something happens. Let's now cancel the lighting process. What I also want to show is that you should uh, define firewall rules if you try to use this. I've got a home server installation here on Alfred and in this installation many things are blocked in the firewall. If you want to uh, give the system, the network, the ability to start swarm agent runs on the coordinator and on the client, we have to define two rules. I go to the firewall settings. and I go to incoming rules and I already created two rules, one for the coordinator. I can show you how it works. Go to new rule, go to port, type in port 8009, 8009 for TCP, say allow connection and say that you want to allow it on the domain and, and on your private network, not in the outside world. Then give it a name and create on ready. For the client, you have to set up a rule for the swarm agent program. This can be done by new rule program Choose the path to your Swarm Agent, which was Epic Games, UE4, Engine, Binaries, .NET, Swarm Agent. Say Allow Connections, say Domain and Private, and give it a name. After this, your network execution should work. So, the firewall incoming rule has to be defined on the PC where the swarm coordinator is running. And if you have problems connecting to the swarm agent, type in the firewall rule for a swarm agent executable file. That should be everything. If you have problems running many light mass processes on your PC, and you are waiting a long time and you have spare hardware in your network, use it for your advantage. That was my short video about the Swarm Agent network capabilities. 
I wish you have you have a nice day and see you soon.